you are looking at video 25 I'm just going to show you some examples of what's going on here what I got um, just want to start out over here in that this is a electrical book if you just want to know that watts is equal to volts times uh, amps or you can go volts is equal to watts divided by voltage or amps and uh, amps is watts divided by volts so these are just common formulas and stuff and that that's when I'm going to start trying to talk about watts and volts here's some of these dials and that I got this one set right there for uh, this is for voltage and this one's set for amperage I'm going to fire this baby up I did some a little bit of changes right here put some springs inside of here as you know I pulled a coil out of here because I'm just going to be testing the coils at this point Nat. and I'm going to show you what I got going on here So right there I'm getting 2 volts in that. I increased it from 1.8 to 2. This is, uh, these springs up here will kind of keep the orbit high thin from slamming into the magnet when it does it. I put some stronger magnets down the side there. When it comes around and hits, it reacts more. I also extended this out here a little bit further. As you can see, put some stronger magnets inside of here. And that. let me unhook this. Okay, I increased that with the same coil with from uh, 1.8 volts to 2 volts. And that was just by putting these springs inside of here. That helped increase that. Little trick there. Okay, now this is the amps right here. It's set at amperage, as you can see, it's set right there. I'll fire it up. stop it goes back to zero so I went from almost four tenths of an amp I got more out of it and that now some people want to know how much power I've had put in here well to tell you the truth I'm not going to use this motor at all this is 110 watts if it's one watt one amp and 110 volts if you figure that out, that's 110 watts, if it's just one amp. And what I want to do is show you what I was thinking about getting is this, uh, this is a, a, a pump motor for, uh, it's a 12 volt pump motor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this up and show you what I got here. Hook that up to there. As you can see, right there, it's drawing 
two amps. This is the motor, it's running, it's running free, it's running two amps. Just utility pump motor and that. Marine pump motor, that's all it is. If I grab a hold like this, it slows it down and draws the amps here. I'll show you what it does over here on this meter. Now watch that meter. See right there? But he's putting 12 volts in and it draws there, but running freely, it's drawing about two amps in that. Okay, I'll take this off now. And I'm just going to hook it up to this other motor. This is just a radio control car engine and stuff. But in the pump, see, this is rotating this thing around for this pump over here. As you can see, this pump, it, it was bolted on here, and as this rotates, it's going to create some friction, and the water's gone through there. So, this is rated at 450 RPMs, and you're talking 110 watts. Well, really, that's under load. It's not under load. The motor and that I was showing you, it doesn't, but it's going to take a lot to turn this inside here, this propeller rotate this and then pull water through it. Now this is like what I was using before. I'm going to turn this down. This is like 72 volts so I'm going to turn it down to 6 volts. Wait a minute. I must have had this at the... Let me see, wait a minute. I had this at... Let me do this again. Uh, yeah, 2 volts. You can see how it goes down, but this thing is actually like putting 10 volts, okay? Then I'll kick it back down. It doesn't matter, it's just, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook it up to this thing over here and show you something different. Okay, this, I got this, this is a 7.2 motor. Let me get this on there. It's on almost four amps. It's on six volts. It's built for 7.2, but it's close enough at six. And watch this as I slow it down. gets all the way up to six amps. So what you're talking about, this is running almost as much energy as that at idle. Because this is running on 12 volts, this is running on six. This is pulling four amps, this is pulling two amps. But when I slow it down, it's drawing a lot more amps, and it doesn't take much to slow it down. This is a typical motor in here that you get from, uh, that, that, that runs in your motors and stuff and that. Uh, this is what, you know, your air compressors, your drill press motors and that. It's just got this stuff in it. This is just a motor torn apart. It's got this inside of here. You know, sometimes the other ones have like capacitors. It's the same basic thing as that. This is 110 volts here. Even if it be 1 amp, you're 110 watts. You're talking at this point. If this motor is drawing like 4 amps at 12 volts, you're, you're talking 48 watts approximately so I'm just going to see what happens what it says here is under load it's, and it may not take as much to rotate this cam here inside of here what it is basically is depending on this cam when it's all set up and rotating so that's basically what I'm trying to do and I'll let you go